So here are the seven habits, life and money habits that you need to master in your thirties before you are 37. The first one is the habit of paying yourself first. There is a lot of people who never even considered this as a, as a fact, and they don't really put themselves first when it comes to paying. Uh, this is usually based on the standard approach we take in life when it comes to our finances. We earn money and we spend money. Literally, even most of people don't use budgets, so they never really look at the, the money management as such. They never really consider that there is more than just putting money into your account or receiving the money to your account as a salary and just paying that out. So paying yourself first, that, that's the habit you need to master in your 30s before you are 37. Paying yourself first means paying towards your future. So when you receive your salary, you're going to put the money on the side. Now, some people have only saving accounts because not everyone has a high financial goals and that's completely fine. Your saving accounts are not catered for you to become a millionaire and that's completely okay. However, they are catered for you to have them, to have the money on the side when you need them in the future. And perhaps you can also save for a certain bigger purchases like buying your own home or your own wedding or I don't know what your, what your life goals can be. So you can come up with some different life goals. However, paying yourself first, paying yourself first to that saving account, or if you, if you are more courageous and adventurous, you can also put some money into your investment account. Now, with the investments, obviously, uh, you need to be a bit more careful whether you are going to do it by yourself or you're going to actually use uh, services of professionals. Keep in mind that investment is risky and this video is in no way any uh, investment advice. You need to see that for yourself. However, paying yourself first means that you keep some money on the side. The second habit, which is slightly related to the first one we just discussed, is the habit of keeping your money. Literally, uh, this is when you are going to change the way how you look at your budget and you're going to change the way how you look at your finances and you're just going to stop only uh, literally receiving money and spending money. You're going to learn how to manage money and how to keep them and where to keep the money. This also comes with increasing your financial literacy. So finding out the products that you can use for yourself where you're going to keep those money for your future as well. Now, obviously, you want to have a certain spending budget. Yes, I understand we all want some new nice things or have a, some nice holiday and have a bit of fun. Now, budgeting is not catered only for you to just save money on the side. Each and every budget, healthy budget, should also have that spending part. But make sure that you get into that habit, that you master that habit of keeping money before you start spending them. The third money and life habit to master in your 30s is to stop chasing the next shiny object. Yes, I know that there are so many things you can do, you can buy, you can, you can have just because you see your neighbors doing it, you see it on TV, you see it everywhere around you. However, by now in your 30s, you should have already your financial maturity in the way that you can, you can assess whether you want to or whether you actually really need to buy that certain object you are chasing for, or is it just really just that, you know, shiny object because I've seen it on TV, but I don't really want it or that I definitely don't need it, but I just want it because perhaps my neighbor bought the new BWM or whatever, whatever it may be, you know, don't, don't simply chase that next shiny object just because, um, because people around you having a certain things. You look at your own budget, look at all your own wants and needs, and then see what you actually really want in your life. Like this, you, you will find out that if you are focused more on what you want, a certain shiny objects around will stop bothering you. So 
you will be okay with other people having them. However, you know that you don't want that for yourself and you don't have to feel uh, any envy or jealousy because your neighbor has a certain things which you don't because uh, it's actually something you don't even want, neither need. The fourth financial and, uh, and life habit is to stop comparing yourself to others. Financially, when it comes to finances, stop comparing yourself to other people around. It's easy to read uh, a great article about one of the billionaires, Warren Buffett, and then try to compare yourself financially to him. Obviously, I mean, that's a person who, who is much further away in the money game than you are currently, so there is no point to compare yourself financially to someone like this. Now, if you have a higher financial goals, that's completely okay, and these are achievable because then you can see someone like Warren Buffett and uh, you, can, you can actually see that person as a motivation rather than comparison. As a motivation, this is something what's going to really give you that drive that, yes, it is possible to, to achieve a higher financial goals. And this is the point when you're going to set up your financial goals and find a way how to achieve them. However, if you if you just going to be comparing yourself to someone who is not on your financial level and feeling bad because you are not there where the other person is, this is not going to actually do anything good for you and it will be a waste of your time. Another habit which is related to, to what we were just talking about, the comparison, is the habit to play your own game. Yes, I mean, in your life, you have the choice. You can decide what you want, what type of career you want, what uh, amount of money you want to earn. I mean, in your life, you have the choice. You can decide what you want, what type of career you want, what uh, amount of money you want to earn. You have that choice to decide. Now, it's choice for you to also decide whether you want to go and exercise and then it depends what kind of health you want to have. So as you see, this is something what's going to help you to grow, but it's going to help you to grow for, for you, not for what other people have. So once you stop comparing yourself and then you're going to start playing your own game, you're going to mind your own business. This is exactly when you're going to find the answers to all your seamless problems because these are not really a problems until you actually figure it out that when you stop comparing yourself when you focus on your own life on your own game these problems somehow disappear because they never been actually problems so focus on your own game mind your own business and if you want to set up for yourself higher financial goals then you can do so and you can definitely find a way how. If you want to be healthier, you know what to do. You need to organize the way how you eat and you need to start exercising. So as you see in life and in money and in finance, you, you can literally adjust the goals you, you have and you can also adjust the lifestyle. The sixth financial and life habit is to keep your safety cash. Now, not only in your 30s, but you should always have a certain amount of cash on your site, on your bank account. Uh, it's there. You can reach out to that when there is an emergency situation. So like this, you are financially secured and you don't have to think what you're going to do next month. You don't live that paycheck to paycheck life. Keeping that cash, keeping that security um, up to your, uh, when you are 37, this is something which will definitely help you to, uh, to grow, not only financially, but also to keep a little bit of more balance in your life. Because you know that you're not solely dependent on that one source of income. And if, if it disappears, if there are any changes in, in life, in the company where you work and you need to change your job, you at least you know you have your cash. So you have that financial security to a certain point. That's why that's the next habit, keep your cash. The seventh life and money goal is to stop playing a victim in life and uh, start taking more action. 
Yes, there may be a certain negative issues you have around money when you were growing up, but okay, now you are growing up, you know that there is a financial literacy which is available to us. There are financial information, there are free sources of financial information like YouTube, for example, and you can learn how to manage your money better and you can put some money on the side you can save for your financial goals. You can even set up your financial goals. You see, when you have that victim mentality, that means like, okay, nobody ever taught me this. I don't know how to do it. And I grew up this way. So that's probably the only way how I ever going to live my life. But this doesn't have to be this way. You can easily start setting up financial goals in your 30s, in your 40s, in your 50s, Wherever you currently are, you can start setting up your financial goals and working towards them. Obviously, you know that there are certain, certain sources of income you can get. Uh, you can get your income from salary, so you can find a new job, which may be even, uh, even better because you increase your income. Or if not, you can, if you really like your job where you are, which I mean, I know quite a lot of people who really like their jobs. So don't, don't consider that as something like now you should leave your job. Really, like if you really work for a nice company, you have a nice, uh, nice colleagues and you have a nice boss, there's no need to leave. You can easily just create an additional stream of income, which will be then helpful and additional to your salary then you can, achieve, uh, you can achieve your financial goals much faster. Perhaps you can buy yourself a more exotic holiday or you can buy yourself a better car or whatever, whatever those goals are then, which will eventually translate in your lifestyle and uh, perhaps in even buying a certain things which you couldn't afford when you just started your working life and when you just started earning money. So these are the seven habits for your life and your money, which you need to master in your 30s before you are 37. Set it up as your goal and you have your time frame so you can slowly start working towards them. Let me know which one from those seven habits, which I just mentioned, you are going to apply in your life. And in the meantime, like the video, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next part.